respect for different people and culture because there's many different ways of doing things. When I first moved to Anchorage in 1997, to me, Anchorage was a very foreign place to me because the way they did things in the city was very opposite of ours. There, there was a lot of differences. I went through a major culture shock. So in 1997, when I went job searching, nobody hired me because they did not accept my yupikness, the way I communicated, the way I, my body language and how I carried myself. So I had to force myself to change some of my ways in order for people to accept me and to be comfortable with me. Like for instance, the way I used to speak English in 1997, because I was so terrified, this is how I used to speak English in 1997. I used to be so self-conscious about it, that this is how I spoke. We all, I also spoke very slowly and had some long pauses in between because where I come from, my grandmother said that we must respect people. Allow them, in, in other words, allow them to speak. And you don't cut people off when they're speaking. You wait until they're finished. So I had to force myself to use eye contact. I had to force myself to get used to speaking faster. I had to force myself to learn how to speak the English language. I had to force myself to use handshakes because in my culture, traditionally we don't shake hands, so we would greet each other with a nod. So this is how we greet each other. So I was forced to move back to my village because I couldn't get a job. I never understood why nobody would hire me. And when I came back the second time to Anchorage, and this is a true story. I decided to sit in random public places so I can study white people because I wanted to see where I went wrong the first time. So at Diamond Center, around this corner comes this white woman wearing a dress and high heels and nails done and, a hair put up, and her hair put up a certain way. And I asked myself if I needed to dress more like her. And my heart, it, beat so fast and so hard, it scared me because I was comfortable in my jeans and t-shirts. When I watched white people and how they communicated, I asked myself, do I need to speak louder? Do I need to sing the English language? Do I need to cut people off when they're speaking? That too scared me because where I come from, that's not how we speak to each other. Out of respect to each other, we speak quieter. We allow people to finish speaking before you jump in to speak. My grandmother said, that means speak quietly. Out of respect to the people around us. So now when I think back to 1997, why did I have to change myself? I changed myself because I wanted people to accept me. I wanted people to be comfortable with me. I wanted to be seen. I wanted to be heard. I wanted to be accepted. And that's why I forced myself to change my style of communication. So thinking back to 1997, I should not have had to change myself. People just need to learn how to accept other people and other cultures way of doing things because there isn't only one way. There is no right or wrong way of communicating. There's many different forms of communication. So people just need to learn how to accept. Be observant. Listen, not just with your ears, but listen with your heart too and your spirit. Be open-minded. Pay attention to everything around you, not just people, nature, earth, everything. So it's important for us to respect each other and accept each other. There's many different ways of doing things. Why don't we integrate myopic ways into this health system? 
education, laws, and policies. Why can't we integrate our Alaska Native values into our policies to ensure that all who come to work for our organizations or our companies will practice the values of our people? I just wanted to share that today because it's been in my mind lately. Thank you for listening.